All right, so here's what we're going to do. Uh, I am recording on a Steam Deck at the moment. Uh, I have it plugged into an Alpha Halo U uh, set on, I think it's channel 116, and probably five, 600 feet or so away, I have the War Dragon with a Ant SDR E200 connected to it, loaded with the DJI drone ID firmware that's outputting uh, results to the network interface, in this case it's just plugged right back into the War Dragon on the side of the kit, USB-C and Ethernet. War Dragon also has an Alpha Halo U on it, and they're in uh, mesh mode, so run an 802.11s. Uh, they have WPA3, <coughs> excuse me, encryption between the two, and there is line of sight, so it's not super far away. And what I'm going to demonstrate is. And normally I would go through like building out the, the Kismet, but because the packages are going to be available here soon, uh, probably I should, and I don't have a whole lot of time, I probably should show building Kismet from scratch, but with about four or five packages installed, you can compile Kismet from source, which probably within the next couple of days you won't really need to anyways, and you'll find the uh, Ant SDR capture tool for Kismet in the nightly repositories. I'm waiting for the uh, next stable release uh, because on the War Dragon kit and the Dragon OS uh, that I pre-configure on it, I run the stable releases on there. So a simple update will be fine there once the new stable package comes out. If you're running Dragon OS Focal X on anything else, uh, I think it also on the uh, Pi build that I do, uh, you, you should be able to pull in the nightlies and get everything you need uh, to do this. So what I'm going to do though is demonstrate again using Rust Desk over Alpha Halo U. Probably you want to do SSH and save yourself some bandwidth, but uh, this uh, seems to work uh, pretty well actually. At, granted, I'm not that far away from the the kit, but um, let's see. I am now connected to the War Dragon that has the HDMI dummy plug. Uh, plugged in and so there's a DJI drone uh, out there basically uh, by it and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start up uh, Kismet you can kinda see I was uh, already testing here and so Kismet is started up and runs on uh, the, the War Dragon itself 2501 and what we're gonna do is um, in this case I'm actually in the directory of where I compiled the capture ant SDR drone ID tool from source um, but you know in the future or if you install the packages you, you won't have to you know navigate anywhere you would just be able to run this uh, command that I'm about to without using dot forward slash because I'm pointing at the um, binary that's right in this uh, directory and so you're gonna say hey kismet cap android or android ant sdr drone id here's my source which is the uh, ant sdr that's networked into the war dragon it's preset um, just the way that the firmware is on 192.168.1.10 so i just assigned a static ip address to the uh, war dragon on the ethernet port of i think like dot 11 um, and we're going to tell it port uh, 41030 <clears throat> and hey oh by the way connect to localhost 3501 and we'll just do keep it simple do the older dash dash TCP uh, I see no reason why it wouldn't work with uh, making the um, drawn a blank keys tokens I, I can't think of the the verbiage that um, Kismet uses but uh, anyway so I'm gonna connect and so it's starting the capture and in this case, it's going to be pretty much immediate uh, because there is a DJI drone uh, mini 2 out there. So it's starting the capture, pulling from the Ant SDR E200 into Kismet, which I'll just go ahead and pull open the page here. And so now, um, along with other all the other detections, and I'm just saving myself from blurring out stuff here, but the War Dragon, I think I pointed it out before, has a monitor mode capable Wi-Fi card in it and Bluetooth, so you could turn that on out of the out of the you know box under uh, might as well just show it here under data sources, uh, and 
and you'll see I've got the drone ID, I've got the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. So I could turn all that on and have all those results coming in, but I'm just focusing on the uh, Ant SDR piece here. So you can see the frequency, you can see the packets. Uh, of course, this uh, also relies on the fact that you, you don't have some newer firmware that DJI has put out there that has changed um, the way that the drone ID works. Um, so just keep that in mind. Uh, you may not get uh, as many detections as you would hope. It probably would have come in pretty handy quite a little while ago, but that's okay. Uh, you can see the different channels that it's hopping around to. Uh, if you scroll down a little bit more on this page, you'll see the GPS location. You will definitely see it under UAV drone. Um, yeah, I, I really just wanted to go over this like super quick. I will put down in the description where the GitHub page is, uh, where the firmware is at. I did not uh, make the firmware that was just provided uh, by the, the, the Ant SDR as a testing thing. Uh, you know, there may be some bugs that you may encounter. Uh, but in this case, I've been checking it out and uh, it works pretty well. So, yeah, thanks for uh, tuning in. Uh, oh, I guess I should just point out one last thing. So again, with the Alpha Halo U, I'm hoping to do more experiments with that. It's pretty handy with getting enough bandwidth over to be able to do something like what you see right now which is rust desk over the uh, 915 ish or so uh, frequency uh, of this wi-fi with again encryption and mesh capability uh, I, I know i said 802.11s but when you boot up you can see that uh, it's also running the batman advance uh, mesh thing you can uh, google that and get a little more information about that so yeah, all right. Well, thanks for hanging in there. Uh, just look at the description. I'll try and point out the pieces that you need that I may have not showed in depth right here. Uh, but it really is as simple as that flashing or, you know, updating the firmware on the Ant SDR 200 SD card, uh, copying over the files basically, and boot it up. And it does what it needs to do, and Kismet does what it needs to do. So, all right. Thanks for hanging in there, and have a great one.